Last week I did a review on the uh, Kaweco Classic Sport uh, Bordeaux and this week I want to show you two other ones that I have. These it's a, a black, classic black and uh, I think this one is called Olive Green. Um, so I've done a review on these pens before, I'm not going to do another review. I'm just going to briefly talk about them. They are a little different, they have different nibs and we'll do, uh, we'll ink them up uh, with something a little different and we'll do a quick writing sample and we'll see how these uh, broad nibs perform. And what I'll be inking them up with would be Diamond Shimmer inks from the, I think it's a 2022 ink vein collection. I have Take the Holes, which is a really deep purple with a lot of shimmer and Olive Swirl, which I think is a nice green to go with, uh, with this one. Uh, yeah, so let's ink them up and see how they write. All right, let's have a quick look at these two Quecos. I have the, uh, the black and the green. And uh, what's different from the, the previous one, that the style of the clip that I'm using is different. This is a very, uh, I guess, a very plain uh, clip, but I think still very, uh, very modern looking. Uh, so chrome trim, but I, I really do like this. And the nice thing about these clips is they just they just slide on just like that and you can have them as far down the the, um, the cap as you like uh, same with this one although on this one I've, I have the gold color or the gold trim which I think goes very nicely with a green uh, this is I think a uh, described as an olive green and um, so that is it. So with the green I have a gold nib and the gold clip, which is ni it's nice to match the colors of course. And with the, the black I have the sort of classic steel nib, uh, chrome look and so on. On this one I have a broad nib. I don't know if it's, if it's visible there. And on the uh, olive green, well, let's just have a look there. I think this one also is just a broad nib. So two broad nibs. Uh, we're not going to do much of a review. We'll just ink them up and see how they write. And to do that, I'm using two inks I haven't used uh, much. The first one is going to be Take the Holes from Diamond. So this is a, this is a shimmer ink and uh, when these bottles stand for a while, the shimmer particles all filter down. And so when you turn the bottle upside down, you can see it right there. And that's really lovely. And we have to do that. Uh, not shake the whole desk, but just mix the ink a bit and I'll give it a second. The same with the other one. The this would be olive swirl. Turn it upside down, we can see the shimmer there. If we just agitate it a bit, you can see it starts to mix with the rest of the ink. And so I think I will just do this with both inks, give them a chance to mix really well. But I think we'll go with the uh, deck the holes first, the purple one, and I'm going to ink up the, put that aside. Everything's rolling around on the desk. We'll ink up the, the black classic. I have a little converter. These little converters are really great actually. I know they don't take a lot of ink, but they are, they just work so well. And the nice thing about them is they're so easy to clean out because you could just dip this pen in water and really push it in an hour a few times and it cleans your um, cleans, cleans your pen and the uh, converter itself so easily. So let's get to it. Still a lot of ink left in this bottle. So it's quite a, quite a large bottle, I haven't, I haven't used that much. I think before I even do this, I need to get some Kleenex because I know what's going to happen. All right, I have something to wipe that down with. So we'll just submerge the 
tip of the pen. We've got a little bit of ink. Yeah, I'm not going to, I could, I could do, I could repeat the process, but I don't want to fill it that much. So I think this will be fine. And let's put the, the ink aside. Screw on the barrel. And I'll be doing a writing sample in this Rodeo dot pad. Um, this is just really lovely paper for any purpose. Go. All right. Let's see how this does. This is the to make sure that it focuses on the paper and not on my hand. So let's try. Coveco Sport Classic. And this is a bold nib. And the ink. is die mine deck the holes I love the way this nib writes it's a broad so uh, usually broad nibs are you know much more uh, much more smooth than other nibs and uh, it's it's just a lovely writing experience Oh, so let's do some more writing. So there we have it. This is a very dark ink, uh, very dark purple. It has some lovely shimmer to it and not that consistent though, I must say. And I think maybe it's the way that I inked it up, we'll see. But I don't know if you can see the, the Caveco Sport. It, I want to see if we do that, with the, if we get a better reflection on the shimmer. I do think you can see it on the Caveco especially. And uh, but there we go, bold nib, very smooth, lovely writer, typical Caveco, absolutely love it. So next up is the the olive green one. So we will ink this one up as well. And I have I have a uh, an empty converter for this one. So olive swirl. Maybe just agitate this one a little bit as well. Make sure the ink really mixes well with the shimmer particles. I want to get that all in there. These particles do seem to settle quite quickly. Alright. And we've got a good amount 
of ink there. Just wipe that down. Got a lot of ink on the paint there. And just set this bottle aside so that it doesn't get knocked over or anything like that. And there we go, Carico Classic Sport, Olive Green, Gold Trim. Let's do a writing sample. Bit of a hard start there. But once the ink starts flowing, it's really generous, really quite wet, as you can see there. All right. And quote, well, first the ink. The ink is Diamond Olive Swirl. This is really a lovely ink. It it may seem like it goes on a little bit light, but it's it may seem like it's a little bit light, but it's very readable. Um, it also has a decent amount of shimmer, and I'll just see if we get a different reflection on the paper there, perhaps. But um, very decent. The, the pen uh, again, the bold nib is a lovely. You. Do tend to write uh, a little bit, you know, larger when you use a bold nib, um, which is obvious. But it's it's really it's really a nice experience. So there we have it. Like I said, this is not a detailed review. I uh, just wanted to show you these two uh, other pens that I have. Uh, these are just lovely pens. I I use them on and off um, depending on the ink that I want to use, and I I just really enjoy them. So um, not much more to say about this. If you don't already have one of these, go and get one. They really lovely little pens to play around with. Really reliable, um, good amount of ink flow, really smooth nibs. Whether it's the fine or whether it's the bold, I really like how these pens write. Thank you very much. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.